Hey, I'm the cat toy lady. So for today, I found this really cool faux fur yarn stuff and I wanted to find a toy to make with it. If you can't tell, it's not really in its yarn ball anymore. My cat found it and had a ball or undid a ball. <laughs> they were growling, playing tug of war with it. I knew, well, I suspected in the beginning it was going to be a good product to be able to work with. But then once I saw the tug of war, I really knew that this was going to be really good for. Them. So what this is, is the Lion Brand Go For Faux Thick and Quick Yarn. Just look at the labels. Here's the front, here's the back. And to make this nice and fun and to attach it so it's not just a string that they're playing with, I have the dollar store ping pong ball, rice, my scissors, and hot glue gun set to the low temp, and an itty bitty screwdriver. So what I'm going to be making with this stuff today is a rattling mouse with the faux fur tail sticking out the backside. I am making sure that the tail is going to be separate from the fur that wraps around just in case something were to come undone. We want short pieces versus long pieces just in case something were to happen. Let's get started. First step is I'm going to take the screwdriver and stick it straight through the ping pong ball. I'm not doing it where the seam is because the softer parts are right on the edges. And it's okay if it dents. So you're going to take your scissors and just poke a hole straight in and then straight out the other hole and cut down. Just like that. Take your yarn and about six inches of it and cut it off. Now with the end of it, I'm going to just make a knot in it. So now just on the inside of one side, we're going to put some glue and we take the knot and set it right inside that edge, right in the glue. Now grab your ice, take a pinch of it, not a whole lot, and stick it inside. And then we're gonna let it roll up on itself like a little cocoon. And that glue is going to hold the knot in place. Now by squeezing it together, we can make this edge right here pop up. We are going to run a bead of glue all along the top lip and then roll it together to where it's tight and wipe off any extra glue and just press it down where it stays in that football shape. Now starting at the top, I'm just going to run glue all the way around. There's a good blob of it and I'm going to set the very tip right in there and just kind of wrap around that point. Hold it till it cools for a second. And then I'm going to just start wrapping kind of a spiral shape, glue around and putting the faux fur in it. You do not have to wrap it super tight because the fur has so much fluff to it that it will hide any gaps. So we're just gonna keep putting glue down, twisting it around, and then bringing our fur around. pressing it really firmly into that glue. Make sure you keep that tail out of the way. And then just my last little spot of exposed. And then you're gonna cut off, and you can kind of see the dark area, that's the base. I'm going to put just a dab of glue on that exposed end and slap the glue and the fur right over it. Now there we go. So now our fuzzy mouse is done. 
this is going to be great for those cats that really like to bite into something and have their teeth sink into it. The ping pong ball will still let them kind of have their teeth sink in without damaging anything. It's going to rattle for them and that tail is really attached so you don't have to worry about it coming off either. You can cut it a little bit shorter, let's say about three inches, if you do have a type of baby that will try to eat strings. Safety is just the key to everything when it comes to making your own cat toys. Just picture your cat playing with it. But now I can walk around and carry their toys and it's going to be dead in their mouth. What cat doesn't like to feel like they're a hunter? So it has some weight to it. It has that floppiness and the fur texture. It is going to drive your cats nuts. And this yarn is really surprisingly durable. I just put this bad boy in my mouth and I don't have any fur stuck to my lipstick. That's good. So next is the play test. There you have it. The kittens thought it was the best thing in the world. Cindy got a little jealous that they were playing with it. Charlie, Charlie's a hunter. He gets his ears all flapped down and then he tries to keep his sister away. Not biological sister, adopted. My guys love meaty toys that they can growl over. And you know what? These are so cheap. I can make a lot of these, or you can too, and donate them to cat rescues and different shelters. They're Charlie approved, they don't stick to your lipstick, and all the rest of the cats love them too. Remember, it doesn't have to be an overcomplicated toy for your cat to like it. They just need that inner hunter instinct to come out. Now go make your cat some toys. Arr! What do you do for fun? I stick cat toys in my mouth to see if my cats would actually like the texture of it. What about you?